Duncan Drews, welcome to the University of Huddersfield. Well, it's lovely to be here today and on such a lovely day and for this reason to, to receive a degree. Composer and performer, which do you like best? Oh, I couldn't say. In a way, composing has to be the thing because that's the most creative way of being a musician. But um, I couldn't really do it without being a performer. It's, um, it's part of the kind of hands-on aspect of music and it also brings you, I mean that's the wonderful thing about our art, it brings you, it has a social aspect, you can, you're always making music with other people and it's a way of um, communicating with them and of course with the audience. And, and what do you enjoy most about composition? Um, well, it's something one loses oneself in. Um, um, musical possibilities are, to me, endlessly I, I fascinating. Say, where, where do you get your inspiration from? Does it just come to you, middle of the night? Oh, uh, uh, not quite like that. I um, um, sometimes, you know, get a bit of an idea for a certain kind of piece, or somebody says would you like to write a piece for us for these instruments or for a group of singers and that kind of stimulates the imagination you start thinking about it and then often things do happen when once you start the, the musical process um, suddenly you might get an idea that you don't quite know where it came from, but that seems to answer the question. Um, do you have a particular favourite of yours? You, what a, a particular piece that you compose that you think, yes, I, that might not be the most well known, but it's no, a piece um, I really. Well, I, I, su I, I suppose a piece I wrote some, some 20 years ago, String Quintet. There, I had such a good idea, I thought, for the form of it, and it gave lots of scope for writing a wide variety of music and I, somehow I felt I was able to um, make it all work in the way I intended so that was a piece I was very pleased with at the time and going back to it and hearing a recording of it now I still feel like that about it. Because one of your, your uh, shall we say more celebrated pieces is your uh, interpretation of the Mozart Requiem Yes, uh, well, yes, well that sort of involves composition in a way, but it's composition where you um, try to look at things through the eyes of Mozart as something totally impossible, of course, but... Um, but did, it, um, did you find it a real challenge? Oh, Was indeed, it? yes, it's, um, because for a start you don't want to do something completely wrong from the musicological point of view, and... Um, you've got this um, challenge of meeting someone who was uh, uh, just about the most superior musical line one can imagine. <laughs> so it's, um, it, it's um, an impossible task, really. Um, and, and when, you, when you look back at, at what you uh, achieved with that, with that piece, do, do you think, he, do you think he, will have, uh, he will have looked down and said, Duncan, well done? Um, I think he'd have had a few um, criticisms to make. Um, I hope he'd have thought, you know, oh, well, this isn't, this isn't too bad. You know, he can write reasonable counterpoint or something like that. I, 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 how can one tell? The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.